Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Everyday E-Deals contacted me and asked me if I'd like to show you guys some more of their diamond paintings. So, let's see what's in here. There are a number of them to go through. Smaller, big, more diamond paintings. So I think we have six of them in here. Yeah, so let's take the one in the clear wrapping first. Okay, look at all them reds. <laughs> see, does it go this way? This way, okay. So it is a 30 by 30 and again you get the standard toolkit. Oh, we do have this to put in the other end and that is a straightener. It is not a multi-placer. If your drills aren't perfectly straight you can use this to straighten them out. Other than that, it is your standard toolkit. Alright, isn't this cute? Love all the reds around the heart. So this would be really cute to do for Valentine's Day. There are 14 colors in here. It is a full round. And let's see if the symbols are clear. Yes, they look very nice. As far as confetti, within the heart itself, there's not much confetti at all around the heart, however. Yeah, quite a bit of confetti. Not so much down here, but yeah, the rest of it, there's, you know, the number sevens, there's not a lot of confetti, but everything around it, yeah, there's quite a bit of it. So, again, uh, another picture that has kind of a, a combination of both. But I always say, if there's confetti, that gives you more detailed look. And I think the detailed look around the more simpler heart is going to be pretty. So let's have a look at these colors. Of course, we're going to have lots of shades of red and red orange. And we shall zoom in. There's the beginning of our train. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Very pretty. Okay. So we have this hmm, real dark coral-ish red. Must have had some extra ink on the back here. <laughs> Some peach. Ah, I'm sorry, this is not a full round, it is a full square. Hmm. Okay, we have this red orange. Oh, that is so pretty. Dark orange or a lighter red orange. A regular red. Oh, dark maroon, that's pretty. Two big packs of this red, I'm assuming, yeah, they are both the same color, so yeah, that's the main color in the background. Beautiful light pink, that must be going in the heart. Pretty dark orange, a little bit of brown, super pale pale. Pink. It's almost, you know, more white than pink. Oh, these gorgeous peach colors. And then, of course, a big pack of white. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that is pretty. That'll be very pretty when it's done. All right, and the thumbnail is... this. So that's what it will look like done. So there's like a sun shining through that heart with the sun rays going down. Oh, I just thought that was so pretty. All right. 
we'll zoom back out. Get uh, this one put away. Because we do have six of them to get through. Don't remember how many are 30 by 30s or not. They don't take as long to get through. Hope you guys aren't in a hurry. <laughs> okay, now these are a little bit trickier to get in. Don't like these clear plastic sleeves. That wasn't too bad as I struggle to get it in completely. There we go. And I'm going to write on here everyday e deals. It's another reason I don't like these clear um, bags because you can't write on them. And I always like to write the company name on the outside so that when it comes to working on it, I know who it's from. All right, now for you owl lovers. <laughs> uh, where does this one open? I'm not going to be putting it back in this. Anyhow, not when it comes in the white sleeve also. I don't bother. But I think I'm going to keep this because I had another diamond painting in a previous video that I needed something to put it in. We have another 30 by 30. Look at our gorgeous owl. Look at these intense eyes. There are 22 colors in this 30 by 30. Wow. And because it's so close up, there's going to be a lot of detail. And now if this owl was back further because it's such a small diamond painting you wouldn't get near the detail you would need and it would look quite pixelated but because it's so close up it's going to be gorgeous there is some black drilling but there this is super heavy confetti wow holy cow the only part that isn't is these these areas here, number threes, which is 310. So those black areas, black in the eyes, those are the only parts that are not confetti. Not too confetti heavy out here. And of course, the black going around isn't. Down on the bottom isn't. That's all black. And some in here isn't. But the rest of it, it's all confetti. Oh, especially up here. Wow. But again, I always say when you have that heavy confetti area, that's where you get the detail. And so, might be a pain to do it. <laughs> um, but in the end, yeah, they are gorgeous. This is a full round. Isn't he pretty? And this is pre-bagged for you. If you didn't feel like, you know, putting it in your own containers, you could work directly out of these bags. I don't like working out of bags, so I always kit mine up into separate containers. So I'm going to zoom you in again. And let's look at these colors. So, of course, we're going to have a lot of earth tones. A pretty mauve color, gray lavender, some more browns. Here is, I was going to say, that can't be a 310, 3371. Must be a real dark gray. 
another brown, kind of another mauve color, real light tan. Look at that pretty peach. Dark blue, another kind of rusty brown. Red brown, pretty maroon or yeah, dark red, kind of a yellow ochre, it's kind of a brown with a purplish tinge to it, light gray, warm gray, there's a cool gray, kind of a blue gray, blue big pack of black <laughs> kind of figured that right a little bit of blue must be going in the beak probably some shading down in here and a dark purple where would that be going must be either up here or down in here oh Love our intense owl. So that's what he will look like. Isn't that gorgeous? You notice the, the detail up in here? And that, again, is because of that confetti. But it really adds to the picture. Yeah. So let us package this one back up. didn't really look at the symbols, did I? We'll do that when I'm done. For the most part, I do not have problems with the symbols on these budget-friendly company diamond paintings. In the past, there, there were some issues, but I think they must have upped their printers or something. And they are much, much clearer now. At least that's what I'm guessing, anyhow. Let's see, and all this confetti. Now, I would almost need a light pad for this. But it is nice and clear. Thank heavens. And the rest of it is very nice, too. For a change, I didn't use a W for the three tens. <laughs> Almost always it's a W. It's number three this time. Okay, what do we have our rubber band for? Hmm. <laughs> a little present tossed in. All right. <laughs> I can see my granddaughter loving this one. And this is a landscape. Oh no, this is a different one yet. This is landscape. But look at our gorgeous colored elephants. And you got the trunks intertwining. Isn't that adorable? So it is a 40 by 30 because it is landscape. Really nice big legend. Wow. 25 colors in this. So many blues, pinks, and purples. Oh. The sky, these pastels in the sky. Wow. Love it. All right, let us look again. Pre-kitted up for us, pre-baked. 
Always nice. Now, I'm going to mention again, some people like to store their canvases flat, separate from their drills. They'll keep their drills in a, in a box, keep their canvases somewhere else. You will always have a code on the diamonds that will correspond with this symbol, this number up here. So for instance, this one, you can't even see it, it is H150. So you have H150 on the package of drills. So you can always match up your drills to your diamond painting. So it's not like you have to keep them together. You can identify which drills go with which diamond painting. Again, if you're new to diamond painting, you may not know that. So, All right, let's put these on this side. And zoom you back in. Right. Oh, that's a pretty color. Blue. Oh, look at this sage green. Big pack of that. Wonder if that's just going down here or if it's going in the sky too. Number 23 is H. Yeah, there's some up here too. No, none down here. It's all up in here. And again, you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's all up in here. So that'll be very pretty. Dark brown, tan, and another tan, a little bit darker. Look at all these blues. Oh, wow. These are pretty. Oh, I love that blue. And another one. And we have some earth tones, real light tan. Warm gray, some more browns. Oh, look at that pretty color. Whoops. And, oh, I see some purples. <laughs> and the DMC coat is on the package, so here's my favorite color, 550. <laughs> Another gray. Lavender. Ooh, big pack of this blue. And a big pack of this purple. We have another purple. Big pack of the gray. Just a little bit of black. <laughs> and finally, this pretty pink. Isn't that going to be pretty? Oh, I love it. So here is the thumbnail. Mm, kind of cut off the bottom, but <laughs> yeah. All right, let me zoom you back out. Get these put away. I'm always in a big hurry to get these away because I feel like you guys. Really don't want to watch me put away drills. <laughs> so I try to do it as fast as I can. But to do it off camera means I have to start and stop and stop and start <laughs> my video constantly. It's all these clips I have to put together and make sure they're in the right order. So. I appreciate it if you are patient with me watching me put these away. <laughs> okay, so that's our pretty elephants. Keep that wrapper too. Now, I just did a diamond painting mystery box giveaway, um, but some of you, you know, didn't 
didn't make it um, in time, but never fear, I will be having another giveaway at uh, some point in the future. This is the one my granddaughter would love. Um, giveaway will probably be mm, the end of June or so. Isn't that cute? It's a 30 by 30. Even though it doesn't say it up here. The product name, it says pig. It's not a pig, it's a unicorn. <laughs> there are 22 colors in this 30 by 30. Look at these pastel colors. Oh, I just thought they were so pretty. And so cute. I guess maybe it is a pig, isn't it? I was thinking it was a unicorn because of this, but with this schnout on here, I guess it is a pig. All right. Silly me. Let me look in the thumbnail. Yeah, I guess it is. But it must be a pig unicorn. <laughs> Never seen one of them before. Okay, so let's get out these drills. I bet you we're going to have so many pretty colors. And not only do I like bright colors, I also love pastels. <laughs> it's one or the other. Zoom you back in. We start right off the bat with some purples. Look at the gradation in those. Oh, so pretty. Dark red orange. Dark gray. Pretty pink. Look at that bright yellow. Teal, kind of. Oh, big pack of this light peach. Must be going in our background here a little bit. Hmm, don't know what you would call that color. <laughs> oh, two. Are these? No, they're not the same color, are they? No, nope, just a little bit different. This one's a little bit brighter. Now they're pretty pink. And aqua and a couple more pinks. Lots of pinks in here with a bunch of hit checkers. <laughs> Warm brown. Oh, big pack of teal. I love that color. And then one more. Well, it's very similar, but just a little bit more green in there. Then yellow. I also have some white and some bright green. It's not quite as many like real pastels as what I thought there would be. Again, that's why I like to show you guys the actual color of the drills so you get a good idea. Now there are some, you know, some pastels in here, especially like, you know, these. We have the pinks, you know, so there are some. But, oh, that is so cute. Here is the thumbnail, our unicorn pig, <laughs> or our pig unicorn. <laughs> yes, I love that rainbow. Zoom you back out. Get this one packaged up. How long is our... Okay, I can make it a little longer than that. Can't forget those. These little 30 by 30s are so perfect to put in. You know, you frame them in a scrapbook, 12 by 12 scrapbook. And I've shown that, how I do that 
new video on my channel but I am going to redo that video because I want to also show how I frame frame 30 by 40s and 40 by 50 so stay tuned for that number five we have ah the cat <laughs> Now they're 30 by 30, but look at our kitten and our little chick. Oh. <laughs> look at all the greens. Oh, tons of greens. So this is another full round. There are 19 colors in here. Looks like we'll have a lot of yellows too and grays. So I'm surprised there are 19 colors, lots of shades of the colors and again the symbols look really good yes very nice and clear pre-bagged for you love it Zoom you back in, in and out, in and out. <laughs> so, we have number 10. Nope. Number 1, it's 01. So, that is black, the 310. Some gray. There's some green in the background and a tan for our kitty. Some more gray. Sort of a gray. <laughs> Burnt orange, sage green. Some more greens in the background. Big pack of this dark gray. Kind of another dark orange or Yellow ochre, no, not really. <laughs> Another orange. So tan. Oh, look at that bright yellow. So we know where that's going. Oh, and this pretty butter yellow, real pale pastel yellow. Kind of a dark mauve. Another green. Kind of an off white. Oh, and a big pack of this green. This must be the majority of the background. 936, yeah. Oh, so cute, our little chicky and kitty. This is the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, zoom you back out. Get this one packed up. And we only have one left. So that wasn't too bad, was it? As usual, I will leave a link to Everyday e -Deals website. As well as all six of these diamond paintings. If any one of these caught your eye and you would like to, you know, check it out and possibly purchase it yourself. Plastic in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I actually that maybe acts. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Look at these bright colors. Oh. Ah, oh, it's another thirty by 
30. Gorgeous, bright, beautiful rose. Oh, them yellow, orange, and reds. One of my favorite color combos. Right after the purple, pink, and blue. <laughs> All these greens. A little bit of fuchsia in the background. There are 25 colors in this diamond painting. Symbols. Very, very clear in here. Looking at the darker areas. Yes, looks very, very nice. Huh. Now, <laughs> this is kind of strange. These number ones back here look like a real dark green when it's painted on. But they're three tens, so these are all black. I think it would have been prettier if they were real dark like forest green not because yeah it's all black background well not all there are greens in here too which you know is going to make that rose pop but I do think the real dark forest green would have been prettier <laughs> just my opinion so we're going to take a look at these drills Pre-bagged for you. Yay. Right, we're going to zoom in. Right. And we do have the DMC code on the bags again. There is only this amount of black, though. Hmm. I mean, there's enough in here. I'm assuming it's enough to do this but yeah I just it just seems so strange doesn't that look like a dark green to you I don't know he's a real light tan kind of a green gray look at that pretty fuchsia big pack of this orange oh that's a pretty color and this bright, bright yellow and the golden yellow. Some green, kind of an army green. Oh, the bright, bright orange. Almost a neon orange. <laughs> Some brown. A little bit of blue. There we go with the red. Brown, red brown, a mauve, gray, and kind of a green gray, red orange, kind of like a magenta. Oh, look at that pretty purple. Kind of a brown and light, kind of like an orangey brown. 3371, a real dark gray. Another purple and another shade of mauve. So pretty. I think if I were to do this, I would switch out the blacks for a very dark, dark green. Like I said, I myself would just prefer a dark green in there rather than black. Yeah, again, that's just me. Let's zoom back out. I didn't show you the thumbnail, but that is what it will be. Isn't that gorgeous? That is such a pretty colored rose. Could really give you ideas um, as far as coloring a rose, wouldn't it? With the yellows and oranges. Yes. Give you shading ideas. Okay. So 
So that was our sixth one. Get this one put back in. We'll just kind of do an overview of all six of them. Sorry if you hear the wind outside. It's actually warm here in Wisconsin. Very unusual. <laughs> it's close to 90 here. So I do have the windows open here in my craft room. Doesn't happen that often. <laughs> so you might hear loud truck or motorcycle go by too because we have a few of them in the neighborhood too. Unfortunately. Especially the neighbor. He has two loud trucks. Oh. I don't think there's any mufflers on either one. Okay. There we go. Alright. So we have our gorgeous rose. A cute little piggy unicorn. <laughs> a cute little kitty and chicky. <laughs> a gorgeous elephant. It's either gorgeous, cute, or pretty. Right? A gorgeous owl. <laughs> I told you. And a cute heart. All right, we'll see if we can get this all in frame, huh? We'll zoom you out a little bit. So again, thank you so much to Everyday E-Deals for sending me these diamond paintings to show on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.